Assalamu alaikum and very good day to everybody. My presentation topic is Assessing Depression, Anxiety and Stress Among University Students on Prolonged Movement Control Order or MCO. Uh, this paper is collaboration with Siti, my other colleague Siti Nurlina and Mawadi Omar. We are from Jabatan Science, Computer and Mathematics, UITM, Shawangan, Pulau Pinang. Coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 discovered in 2019 has changed human social behavior and social lifestyle all over the world. The government took various actions such as lockdown, quarantines and restriction of movement to curb the spread of the virus. Malaysia has imposed the first lockdown on 18 March 2020 and followed by the second full lockdown was implemented on 1st June 2021 following increasing cases due to Delta variant. Educational institutions were also forced to close this gave a huge impact on students as they needed to continue their education online. By June 2021, more than a year Malaysia had been through a series of prolonged MCO. Finding by Aziz et al. 2021 show that university students' stress management factor were time management, internet connection, study workload, and adaptation to new norm. Quarantine students had higher depressive symptoms, with female students scoring significantly higher for depression, anxiety, and stress. There are studies about the association of COVID-19 with distress, anxiety, fear of contagion, and depression in the general population and professionals. According to Palmer et al. 2020, studies conducted in more than 60 countries show that young adults are more at risk of poor mental health than old adults due to perceived stress and financial uncertainty. Sunarisen et al. 2020s Note that a study of anxiety level among university students in Malaysia during the COVID-19 pandemic found that the social demographic data, age, gender, academic specialization, and living condition were significantly associated. He also note that female students are more anxious than male students and anxiety symptoms were higher in the younger group of age. Financial constraint, remote online learning, and uncertainty related to their academic performance, graduation, and future career prospects are the factors that contribute to stress among Malaysian university. We use questionnaire called DAS21. DAS21 is a simplified version of DAS42, both developed by Lobby One and Lobby One 1995. The Malay version has been established by Musa in 2007. So this 21 question of DAS can be grouped in three criteria, which is depression, anxiety, and stress. So this is the sample of the question. Uh, not the sample, all the question has been grouped into these three criteria. The respondent need to answer this by scale their feeling uh, from zero, which is never, or one, sometimes, two, often, and three, or almost always. The score then will be summed up and then level uh, grouping by according to this level. If the score, the total score between 0 to 9, they are normal to mild depression, 0 to 10 is moderate. If the score is greater than 10, it is severe to extremely severe. This is, this is scale for depression. For anxiety, 0 to 5 is normal to mild, 6 to 7 is moderate, greater than 7, severe to extremely severe. And for area of stress, 0 to 9, normal to mild, uh, starting from 10 to 16 is moderate, greater than 16 is severe to extremely severe. The survey was distributed through an online platform and then participant is all age grade uh, 18 and more will be given concern. So this questionnaire was distributed between 18 June to 23rd of July 2021. We get about 116 feedback. So after the elimination according to the criteria, we only, we only considered 107 to be analyzed. 
to analyze, we're using descriptive analysis by presenting the table and figures. Or in inferential statistics, we use t-test and chi-square test. This is the result for descriptive statistics for total score of depression, anxiety and stress. We can see that the scale of 7 for this depression already falls to a moderate level. And for anxiety and stress score, the mean and median score presented are still in level normal and mild. This is the result for this statistic for a total score of depression, anxiety and stress. You know that the anxiety score defined by gender was statistically significant where the mean score for female was higher than for males. The mean depression score and stress for female is likely higher than male. No statistically significant difference was detected for all criteria for family income and also neighborhood community. Let's see result for level of depression, anxiety and stress. The score was grouped according to the severity level. Then this is the result. More than half of the respondent experienced normal to mild depression. Mild to mild, uh, normal to mild depression, anxiety and also stress. Respondent score for anxiety level severe to extremely severe was quite high. So this is uh, anxiety level for uh, severe to extremely severe is uh, quite high which is 29.9%. Okay, we implement chi-square test for level of dep depression and we can see that there is no statistically significant difference was detected for all criteria. So that means there is no association between gender, family income and neighborhood community with the depression level. This is result for chi-square test for, a level, for level of anxiety. We can see that there is an association between anxiety level and gender, anxiety level and gender at 90% confidence interval. And then 39.3% of females suffered severe to extremely severe anxiety compared to male. This is result for chi squared test for level of stress. So there was association between stress level and community neighborhood. So the p-value is 0 0.037. We can see that respondent who live in town or city experienced moderate 16.7% and severe to extremely severe, which is 13.3 stress level compared to other communities over so here we can see that for moderate level if we live in town or city, respondent in town or city 16.7 but if other neighborhood it's 2.1 percent only so, so so this is something interesting for us to to get as for conclusion we can see that uh, from the total score, mean total score in depression and stress is higher compared to anxiety among students during prolonged MCO. Female have higher anxiety than male. And then if we look at by level, more than half of the respondents have normal to a mild level of depression, anxiety and stress. Anxiety level among respondents with severe to extremely severe was quite high, which is 29.9. More females score severe to extremely severe than males. And their respondents who live in the city or town have higher chances of scoring severe to extremely severe level. This study is hoped to help educators have a better understanding of their students during the online process. Thank you.